Oh, Will. Will, 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 Will. Sometimes you're just like a puberty-stricken sixth grader. Hey everybody, David Stradley. I'm here with Sonnet 135. And in this sonnet and the next one, there are these bizarre sonnets where good old Will Shakespeare just puts his name in the sonnet over and over and over again. Uh, one scholar notes, this and the following sonnets ring the changes on the potential body connotations of one word, will. Commentators have identified six or seven relevant meanings, not all of them body. Uh, so yeah, there's probably some metaphor here, but for me, these sonnets just always make me smile and chuckle because again, as much as we think of Shakespeare as the height of, you know, refined romance, every once in a while he just writes a sonnet where uh, he makes some dirty jokes with his name and, and tries to get the girl to laugh. So with that, here's sonnet 135. Whoever hath her wish, thou hast thy will, and will to boot, and will in over plus. More than enough am I that vexed thee still to thy sweet will making addition thus. Wilt thou, whose will is large and spacious, not once vouchsafe to hide my will in thine? Shall will in others seem right gracious, and in my will no fair acceptance shine? The sea, all water, yet receives rain still, and in abundance addeth to his store. So thou, being rich in will, add to thy will one will of mine to make thy large will more. Let no unkind, no fair beseechers kill. Think all but one, and me in that one will. Oh, Will. Have a good one, everybody.